This is my 2021 Ford Raptor 37 performance package truck. I got it in a lead foot gray color, which comes with the Recaro Rhapsody blue seats on the interior. It's a beautiful truck on the outside. And this is the third generation of Ford Raptors trucks. And I wanna kinda show you guys a little bit on the outside, show you some inside, we'll do some driving stuff. You know, there's a lot of Raptor reviews on YouTube. You can go check them out. This standpoint is gonna be kind of an ownership standpoint. So I'm gonna show you some really neat features of the truck and also show you why I own this truck and if it's right for you to own a truck similar to this. So a little bit different take from an ownership perspective. So let's get started here on the outside. First up, you're gonna notice on the outside here, new design in the LED lights on the outside, which are beautiful. I mean, these things just really set it out at night and during the day when you're driving. So these aren't on during the day when you're driving, but you actually have these on here in the headlights and it's just a mean, aggressive look. So really love the exterior of the truck and what they've done here on the third generation. So this truck is 73 and a half inches wide from wheel to wheel, outside of wheel to outside of wheel. It's about six to seven inches wider than your typical F-150. And so NHTSA, National Highway of Traffic and Safety Association, I think I got that right, actually makes trucks over a certain width have these extra lights on the outside. So you'll see these are actually here because the truck is too wide to not have them. And they, also you have red in the rear. So these trucks, you have to have these on the outside, three ambers on the front, and then in the rear, the same thing, three reds and then two on the outside in red. Another thing here on the front, you'll notice we have fog lights. We have these rigid fog lights. And right now, when the headlights come on, these are gonna be my normal fog lights that come on with the running lights. But you'll see here underneath this Raptor covered clip, you got the Raptor logo on there. Um, there's another fog light. And you're probably wondering why would they cover up these nice fog lights? Well, these actually come on with the auxiliary switch inside the truck. And the reason why they do that is, again, NHTSA says that you can only have so many lumens illuminate the exterior of the front of a vehicle. And so having these extra fog lights would have put them over the lumen rating that you can actually ride on road. So they have these off-road use only lights and they're powered by an auxiliary switch. And again, these are completely factory. You have one on either side. Um, so it's kind of a nice feature, but you do have to flip a switch to turn those on manually inside the truck. So this truck on the exterior, you have six different cameras. You have one in the front and it gives you the full 360 view. You have some in the side mirrors, in the rear, uh, in the third brake light, and a couple others throughout the truck. If you're riding outside and you get some dirt on it, some bugs on it, this actually has a little washer that comes out and sprays when you spray your windshield washer fluid on the, uh, on the windshield. This hood is just a, a really neat design hood. And this lead foot gray having these cool graphics on the front, we have some on the rear as well. And you actually have passive air functional in this hood. So as we kind of look at the top part here, you'll see that the air can circulate down through the hood and actually can come out on these side vents here for uh, air induction to actually come through. This truck has a 3.5 liter high output uh, V6. It has the EcoBoost V6. It has 450 horsepower and 510 foot pound of torque. So nice high output motor. Uh, it's not gonna beat the TRX as far as horsepower goes, but Ford has a little secret that's coming out. You guys may already know, which is the R series, which I may be in line to get here in a little while and that thing's gonna be pushing close to 700 horsepower. So if you want some power, that new V8 beast that's coming out is gonna be the one to go for. But for the package that you get with the V6 and the way that the suspension is set up on it, I mean, the, the power to handling ratio is, is perfect in this truck. I think the 700 horsepower is probably gonna be a little too much. So in the hood, you have some air induction that can go into the hood. We have these nice meaty fender flares on here. And then this truck, because it is a 37 package, we have the nice BF Good Wrench, all-terrain, KO2s, 
and 37 inches tall. Wrapped 17 inch uh, beadlock wheel here, which is a really nice gunmetal gray, matches the exterior of the truck perfect. I haven't done a lot of upgrades to the truck. The only thing I've really done to it since I've gotten it factory is of course tinted the windows with ceramic tint. And then I actually added these to the B pillars here. And what I like to do is kind of take that and wrap it. So this is a 3M uh, satin black wrap that I've kind of put over the B pillars here. The side steps are nice because they are wrapped in the same material as the bed liner. Um, so nice rugged, you know, can't really scratch them or damage them. And if you do, you can get a bed, respray them with a bed liner. And then we have our DNA strand as we move into the graphics in the rear. No, this isn't really a DNA strand. It doesn't even look like a DNA strand, but it is a map of Baja. As we move into the rear here, you'll actually look and see we have the new new redesigned five link suspension with the Fox shocks in the rear. You have a lot of handling and suspension control from the front of the truck, which is, which is a really nice touch. You don't have to get out here and do anything manually. You can do everything from the comfort of the driver's seat. Right here, we have this 37. This 37 is for this being a 37 package. This truck is equipped with Blue Cruise, um, and I don't know if Ford still calls it their Bliss system or not, but you have some nice tail lights in here, LED tail lights that have uh, some housing of technology for radar and things like that for lane keep assist and other things. Again, some of the graphics packages, you'll see the 37 on here. So one of my favorite features Ford's had for a little while, you can open up the tailgate with a double press of the click of your remote. Ford still keeps true with their integrated step system. You have the step and handle, get in and out pretty nice and easy. You have some measuring guides here. Um, this truck is actually set up really well for you to do some cuts on with two by fours. Because if you look right here, we have a 2.4 kilowatt max AC plug. So you're able to run drills and saws and all that kind of stuff from the rear of the truck. You plug it in right there and uh, you have access to be able to use um, pretty much any tool you want to be able to use on the rear of this truck. Gives you some nice access points with your c-clamp holders i think you got some magnetized trays here you have some areas to put uh your phone up if you want to watch some videos set your phone there and do some things which is a really nice little touch uh, you got some bottle openers here on the side which is a neat touch and then we're going to find out if i can do this two clicks of the remote should do a really cool feature and that's close the tailgate for you so that's kind of a newer feature that ford started to do recently which is really nice, hands-free. You don't have to think about it. You know, you can actually do it, do the touch of the button here, does the same thing. And as well as you can push the button here, which is nice not to be lazy, but if I'm just trying to go on a run, you know, and I'm trying to get in the truck, I can push that, it closes itself, I'm in the truck a little bit faster. So a nice little time saver. I talked about the lights in the front, the lights in the rear, when we illuminate them here, you'll see in the fender on both sides, it's again, it gives you that extra indicator with the red lights here. And Ford does a really nice job at being able to actually see these lights from the side. So a neat feature that they've kind of added to the Raptors is color matched door handles, as well as the color matched mirrors. And if you see there, there's another cool feature I was just gonna talk about, keyless entry. You go up to it, have your key in your pocket, you touch the handle and it unlocks for you. So you saw that when it unlocked, the mirrors folded in. And then when you step out of the truck, you can keep the key in your pocket, touch the little lock symbol here, truck locks, mirrors fold in and you can walk away. Um, something I really like, and I don't know if I can get it to reenact it right now, is a proximity to the truck. When I have my key in my pocket, at night as I get closer, or even during the day, as I walk up to the truck, the actual lights will start cutting on. You'll hear some noises of the truck kind of preparing, like, hey, this guy's fixing to get in his truck and take off. So I'll see if I can maybe reenact that real quick. So I'm not touching anything. I'm just walking straight up to the truck and you'll see some lights started illuminating there, tail lights and stuff start cutting on. And then I grab the door handle and I'm ready to get in. You hear it unlock and then you can step in. As I'm getting out of the truck, you can lock it like that, step away. And then I talked about the, where they hid the three lights, the three uh, red lights in the rear. If you look, they actually integrated it into the third brake light up there at the top. So you also have a third 
brake light camera, which aims down at your cargo area. So you can see if your cargo is getting loose or whatever while you're driving. So little neat feature there that you can you know see into the bed while you're going down the road. And another thing that's nice for this thing being a Raptor is you have a full size spare underneath that um, is just like the rest of the, the tires, same size, same everything. Um, so that way if you're out, you know, hitting the Baja, you're hitting the trails and you need to get a spare thrown on there, it doesn't really shut down your fun as much, or you can at least get back to wherever you're going and not have to worry too much about that and having a little donut or something like that. So that is a nice little feature there too. In the rear, you'll see the exhaust. We have a big, nice round exhaust tips, dual exhaust on both sides. We have some nice tow hooks here. Uh, Raptor does a cool job at taking these bumpers and making them a little bit smaller than the regular F-150 and being able to tuck that exhaust tip in here. I've heard mixed emotions about the exhaust of this truck. This truck is a V6, so it's not gonna sound like a V8, but it almost has that like Nissan GTR sound to it. So you can kind of appreciate it a little bit and we'll get some exhaust note sounds here going in a second, but um, I really love the, out, the exhaust on it. So let's just kind of hear the remote startup real quick of that. So beautiful truck on the outside, some great features, and uh, we'll probably just hop on the inside here in a second and kind of go through what's going on on the interior. All right, let's get this thing out on the road. So that way you guys can hear it, see what it's all about, and see how it drives. Of course, we have the Ford Raptor key here. Um, wireless, you don't have to take it out of your pocket. Push button start, even though it is a fun Baja truck. You still get some nice luxuries in it for sure. It's one thing Ford's been good about. Giving you all the luxuries while giving you the fun too. I am in standard drive mode. You have this turn dial here that has multiple drive modes. Right now we're in normal. We can rotate it, go to sport. We have a tow haul. We have a slippery, which shifts into four by four. We can go the opposite way. We have deep snow and sand. We have a Baja mode and we have a rock crawl mode. You have the drive mode selector down here as well as you have uh, your differential locker, some 4x4 modes. And then on the steering wheel, you can change the steering, you can change your suspension, and you can also change the exhaust note. As we get it on the road here, you'll hear that's normal. This is sport. And this is Baja. Keep in mind, I'm in normal driving mode. I just changed the exhaust note. One of my favorite features this truck has is the lane keep assist. It's right here on your steering wheel. You have that on and you actually can turn on your cruise control. And this truck has what's called blue cruise, which actually now I'm driving with hands free. So kind of like in a Tesla, now it's gonna take turns for me. And if I wanna change lanes, I put on my blinker and I actually can change the lane myself and then it'll get back into the lane. It's supposed to keep my hand on the steering wheel. It kind of tells me and reminds me every once in a while. So you'll see me kind of bump the steering wheel like in a Tesla, if you guys have seen that before, um, how that kind of works. You just make sure that you are being responsive and have your hand on the steering wheel. But I don't have to do anything. Um, I can just let it, let it drive for me right now, which is pretty neat. When you think about it, it's a, it's a Raptor performance truck but again you get these nice amenities in this truck like you would the lariat or king ranch or platinum or limited you know some of the upper luxury level trims you still get that in this truck we have a heated steering wheel heated and cooled seats which is really nice i like that they have the dedicated button for the seats rear is heated only something i really love about this truck is the recaro racing seats in here um, they're a Rap City blue suede and Alcantara and some leather in here. It's awesome quality fit and finish 
And then the beauty that they did to this was the code orange uh, accents. So you have some stitching in code orange, uh, you have some steering wheel stitching, some dash stitching, and then a few different accents in that code orange, and it just really sets it off. In the rear, we have this switch here. You can open up the window in the rear. Nice power sliding rear window. Another great feature of this truck is I have the dual moonroof above me, uh, sunroof. So right now it's fully open. I can close it and close the shade. And then of course you can open it all the way back. Kind of gives you two stages. So if you want to just open up over the front or over the back, which is nice. And then you actually have a sunroof. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which most new trucks come with or most new vehicles these days come with really like this little tray here i can throw my phone in there apple carplay is wireless carplay so i can have that wirelessly or i can plug it in and have a plug carplay and you have some other neat features on here different apps that you can go through you have vehicle hotspot connectivity you can have access to your bed camera your zone lighting and then your pro power on board one to the back seats right here and to the front we have ac converters and then we also have in the bed of the truck to power tools saws you know all that kind of good stuff um, so this truck does have pro power on board which is nice so the truck is equipped with a pro trailer package which allows you to reverse trailers you can uh, program certain trailers to the truck and uh, it can actually you can turn this knob here while you're reversing trailers or trying to back them up and you actually take your hands off the steering wheel and use this knob and use the screen and guide the truck this is uh, not really a new feature that ford has but again this truck being a raptor which is a performance truck you still get all the nice comforts of a work truck and the luxury truck together along with some cool 37s and some nice uh, turbocharged horsepower to get you through some trails as well. the exhaust it sounds phenomenal in here we're in Baja mode so we're in four-wheel drive we're going over little hills and bumps like it's no problem Joe might not think it's a Joe's probably like it's a big problem but <laughs> I'm having a good time but that's what I love about this suspension you put it in Baja mode and hit over some of these bumps and I mean I'm going 30 miles an hour down through the middle of a field right now with no problem be a little nicer if we had a little bit bigger of a field to let it open, but I'm not gonna sit here and ask for somebody's permission for another field versus this is my dad's. I don't think he'll care too much. <laughs> He's probably gonna be like, what did you do to my field? <laughs> Boy, what did you do to my field, Garrett? Yeah, let's get a donut in here and see how it goes. At a donut party. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the most fun you can have in this truck. Yeehaw! So we're gonna make our way into the interior here. First off, right when we open up the door, we're gonna see we have this nice Bang & Olufsen sound system, speakers all throughout the truck. Super awesome sound system. One of the best ones I've ever heard in an F-150. I've had several different Fords, F-150s, F-250s, and this is by far the best sounding sound system I've ever had. Um, you'll see right here when you open up, you have the Ford Performance on the door seal. Because this truck is a Raptor, Ford Performance built it. Something that everybody really likes on these new F-150s is if you push this button here, the gear stalk goes down, gets out of your way, reach and grab this clip, and then this flips forward, and you have a nice big area for desk, for computer, or eating your lunch, or big, nice, deep storage in here, sliding tray, push this button again, and the shift knob comes back up. Another cool feature about this one, I have it in drive, and I opened up, my, if I were to open up my door, 
it's actually going to automatically shift into park for me. So you can see that it actually moves and shifts back into park, which is cool because um, sometimes you just want to hop out real quick. You don't have to worry about putting it in park first. You can just kind of come to a stop and uh, it'll go to park to you. Another feature I really like about this truck is it has a hold feature. So when you are in drive and you pull up to a red light, as long as you come to a complete stop, you'll see this little green hand pop up on the screen and um, the truck will actually hold for you so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake pedal. It'll hold that position for you until you go to tap the accelerator again. Um, big nice paddles here. They're metal. A nice little feel to them. They don't feel cheap or plastic. Back down here on the shifter we can go into manual mode and actually use the paddle shifters if we want to and only the paddle shifters. It's not assisted at that point. It's completely a manual mode truck. Of course, like I said earlier, this truck has six different cameras on it. So you'll see as we go into reverse, we'll see our 360 camera on here, which we can actually zoom in on. A really neat feature that you can kind of control different zones that you want to zoom in on, which says rear, front, left corner, right, left corner, or right front corner, and then as well as your parking sensors. And then over here, we can zoom in down on, if we had a trailer hitch, we'd be able to see directly an overhead view of uh, that trailer hitch. And then you have some other buttons in here that you can push. See just the rear full view if you want to, kind of a rear three point view. This shows you your cargo area in the bed of the truck. If you were to have a auxiliary, um, so I would select my trailer here and then I'd be able to see just the trailer and where it's moving and I could control it with the pro trailer uh, knob over here. Of course you have a big glove box and then you have this secondary box here as well. You have a nice storage tray up here above the display sunglass storage in here remember earlier i talked about those fog lights when we turn this switch on aux one those are going to be those secondary fog lights that we have up front so that's how you turn those on you take those dust covers off of them and you'd have some nice extra fog lights at night if you needed them from the factory the first aux goes to the fog lights but the rest of them are actually regular auxiliary switches which gives you plug and play in the hood for you to add other lights or whatever else you want to, you'd be able to control those in here. So it keeps you from having to run wires back into the truck. Yeehaw! <laughs> so you made it to the end, and I want to talk a little bit about numbers. I plan on keeping this truck for about another, about a year in total. In doing that, buying the truck for around $95,000, I plan on selling it for around 90 to, again, 92.5. I may list it at 95, see if I have any bites. And this thing, I'm going to be able to drive it, only pay about $2,500 and have some fun while doing it. You know, I talked about the price earlier and the price of this truck being $83,000, but then having a $35,000 markup and why I didn't pay that is I have history with the dealership. So I have some leverage there with the dealership because I've bought volume from them. I paid about $10,000 over MSRP. And the reason why I felt like that was a good deal is because this truck being the 37 package and having the blue interior and the discontinued lead foot gray on it, I hedged a bet that people would want this truck with the options being as desirable as they are and not producing so many. We're still going through microchip shortages and other things like that. And I think that with those shortages, this truck being high demand, I think it's still gonna ask for a premium value, uh, even secondary once I get ready to sell it. And Raptor has been proven since Raptor's existence to be able to hold its value better than any other Ford vehicle on the market and almost better than any other daily driving vehicle on the market. You have G-Wagons that have held value significantly. You have other vehicles uh, like my Urus and some newer vehicles come on the market that have held their value significantly. But Raptor has been one like a Jeep Wrangler and others that you can get in, spend a lot of money on the front end, but you're gonna get that back in the, in the rear end. And so that's why I think that a Raptor is one of the best investments that I can make for myself as a daily driver. I need a truck. I have several businesses. I do real estate. I go off road a good bit with my other companies and I need a truck, which this is fits the bill of having the truck for me. And I need something that I want to be able to have as least risk exposure of my money. And the Raptor fits that. So being able to drive a truck that's, one of the coolest F-150s that you can drive. It has limited production, limited availability, 
So it has some special qualities about it and me only lose possibly a few thousand dollars to be able to do that. You can't do that in any other vehicle. I don't care what that other vehicle is for a daily driver. It's very hard to find that. And so I think that Raptors are great financial decisions as well as getting a really cool truck that you get to drive that not everybody else has. Why not? Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Catch you guys next time.